Uh, Arnold cannot go with them because uh, his skin has been burnt off, and so he's a robot, so he says, I'll meet you there. Wait, stop. Oh my God. Okay, I've seen plenty of episodes of Star Trek or shows like that. You, you watch Star Trek? I have watched Star Trek. This is the first I'm hearing of this. Uh, it reminds me of that episode of Star Trek The Next Generation when they accidentally create Professor Moriarty. Well, they say they create him on accident. They create a supervillain on accident. In the episode, they, Jordy and Data are playing on the holodeck, right? And they're playing their, they're playing their, their um, uh, the, Sherlock, uh, Holmes. Sherlock Holmes adventures, and Data keeps solving all the cases too quickly. So uh, Jordy says, computer, create a, uh, an enemy, or create an opponent, an adversary, that uh, is capable, is capable, of, capable defeating of, data. of defeating data. And so the computer interpret that, interprets that to, to create something that's smarter than the computer itself. Well, they're, they're, they look like dinosaurs. They're supposed to be alligators. You know, guys, we could... we it's like could that episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, oh God. Yeah, yeah, when they... The Barkley disease. Yeah, that turns yeah. everyone to like Charles oh, Barkley? Was he on an episode of Star Trek? No, no it was just Barkley Barkley. He had to jam he, he wasn't the one with the disease. That was uh, uh, Magic Johnson. The leader of the skinhead organization is everyone's favorite bald guy, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart? Anton Yelchin? That's right, it's Chekhov versus Picard. We're getting those Star Trek references out of the way right up front, motherfucker. But yeah. for some reason, he's as smart as Data, and he could build a fucking time machine. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when Data traveled back to uh, San Francisco in the 1890s and met Mark Twain? Data was also building some sort of device out of technology at the time to communicate to the future. But Data could do that because he's smart. Um, that was in the, the two-parter episode, Time's Arrow. Um, uh, is it embarrassing that I know his name is Galron? Yes. He's explaining it, but we're seeing flashbacks where the characters are talking, but it's his voice coming out of him, and it's like, whoosh, whoosh. The movie then happens. It stars no one you've ever heard of except for Alfre Woodard, who is in Star Trek First Contact. Mike wrote this. You can do the gladiator ring too, but you can also do like this and that. And this yeah. and in fact, there is an episode of Star Trek Voyager like that. <laughs> it was the early career, the early acting career, I should say, of one Dwayne Johnson, AKA The Rock. He was on Star Trek? Are you fully functional? I am fully functional. That's a reference to Star Trek The Next Generation. Does Data have sex on Star Trek? Oh yeah. It's a little weird. He never gets rapey, uh, but he does <laughs> have sex. He has sex. Uh, well, I'm glad he doesn't get rapey. I found it uneven. Um, and kind of like a, a big episode of Star Trek, where people go to a place, they discover something weird's going on, and then they investigate it, and it's like, oh, that's what was going on this whole time. Uh, uh, I think a more apt comparison would be like the Twilight Zone, or maybe Tales from the Crypt, more so than Star Trek. Uh, I thought he needed to use it to breathe, mm. because there's an episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine where they discover a, a, a anomaly in space that will, if you pass through it, it will shrink down your molecules. And Chief O'Brien, Lieutenant Jadzia Dax, and Dr. Julian Bashir get into a little tiny shuttlecraft. Well, it's not tiny then, it's a regular sized, it's a runabout. And they pass through the thing and they shrink. And they shrink to about this big. And um, they fly around inside the Defiant. It's really, it's a really great episode. And you wanted that kind of science in Ant-Man? Hey, did you know Mommy Can I Keep Her is directed by Fred Olin Ray, who did Alienator? 